He- Hello everyone. Welcome to the Intelligent Learning. The true sign of intelligence is knowledge but imagination. Today we learn laws on drawing simply say LOD. In this video we imagination. What is LOD value? How to determine of LOD value? Meaning of dry to constant weight. How to LOD determination of low melting point specimen. How to LOD determination of formulation. Meaning of drying under vacuum. First what is LOD value? LOD value is amount of volatile matter of any kind that is driven off under condition specified. The substances appearing to contain water as only volatile constitute. The procedure is water determination by titrimetric is appropriate. The loss on drying value is a function of both temperature and time. Therefore, these values must be identified and reported. How to determine of LOD value? LOD determination in seven step like preconditioning, sample handling, weight before drying, drying of specimen, cooling, weight after drying and calculation. First step, preconditioning. Set the temperature of drying chamber as per method of analysis. Maintain the temperature of the drying oven plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius. After reach the desired temperature, the glass stoppered weighing bottle dry for about 30 minutes at same temperature of method of analysis. Remove the glass stoppered weighing bottle from the drying chamber and cooled to room temperature in a desiccator. Second step, sample handling. Unless otherwise directed in the individual method of analysis, determination of loss on drying taken 1 to 2 gram test specimen. Mix the substance to be tested and, if it is in the form of large particles, reduce the particle size to about 2 mm by crushing. Third step, wait before drying. Tare the balance pan. Tare and glass stoppered weighing bottle that has been dried for about 30 min under the same conditions to be employed in the determination and cooled to room temperature in a desiccator. Put the test specimen in the bottle, replace the stopper, and accurately weigh the stoppered bottle and the contents. By gentle, sidewise shaking, distribute the test specimen as evenly as practicable to a depth of about 5 mm generally, and not more than 10 mm in the case of low bulk density materials. Fourth step, drying. Place the loaded bottle in the drying chamber, remove the stopper and leave it also in the chamber. Dry the test specimen at the specified temperature and time conditions. The temperature specified in the method of analysis is to be regarded as being within the range of plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius of the stated value. Fifth step, cooling. Upon opening the chamber, reapply the same stopper to the bottle and allow it to come to room temperature in a desiccator. Sixth step, wait after drying. Wait the loaded bottle. Seventh step calculation of loss on drying. Calculate loss 1 drying by weight of loaded bottle before drying W2. Minus. Weight of loaded bottle after drying W3. Divided by. Weight of loaded bottle before drying W2. Minus. Weight of empty bottle W1. Multiple by 100. Meaning of dry to constant weight. When dry to constant weight is specified in a method of analysis drying shall be continued until two consecutive weighings do not differ by more than 0.50 milligrams per gram of specimen taken where the second weighing follows an additional hour of drying how to lod determine low melting point specimen if the substance melts at a lower temperature than that specified for the determination of loss on drying, 
maintain the bottle with its contents for 1 to 2 hours at a temperature 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius below the melting temperature. Then dry at the specified temperature. How to LOD determination of formulation? Where capsules are to be tested? Use a representative sample mixture, excluding the capsule shell, from not fewer than 4 capsules. Where tablets are to be tested? Use a representative sample mixture from not less than 4 crushed tablets. Meaning of drying under vacuum Where drying under vacuum over a desiccant is directed in the individual method of analysis, a vacuum desiccator or a vacuum drying pistol, or other suitable vacuum drying apparatus, is to be used. Where drying in a desiccator is specified, exercise particular care to ensure that the desiccant is fully effective. Where drying in a capillary stoppered bottle under vacuum is directed in the individual monograph, Use a bottle or tube fitted with a stopper having a 225 plus or minus 25 micrometer diameter capillary, and maintain the heating chamber at a pressure of 5 mm or less of mercury. At the end of the heating period, admit dry air to the heating chamber, remove the bottle, and with the capillary stopper still in place allow it to cool to room temperature in a desiccator before weighing. Thanks for watching, if this video useful please like and share. For more such type video do not forget subscribe and bell icon for notification.